God bless you this morning, church. You know, I thank God for this wonderful day, this wonderful morning that we have. You know, a day today that we can rejoice in the Lord and be glad, be glad that we're saved. You know, that we're born again this morning, church. Brothers and sisters this morning, you know, we, we might not have church this morning. We may not have the building this morning. But I want to tell you something, we definitely have church this morning. We have we have the word of God this morning. We have views. And thank God this morning for for every one of you, for all my brothers and sisters in Christ this morning. And you know that we can come round the word of God, that we can share the word of God this morning. That, that you know that the old enemy he, he can he can stop us from meeting in the building, but he but he can't stop us from sharing God's word. You know that God's word is alive; it's active this morning, and it's going to fill our hearts. It's going to it's going to help us and strengthen us and lead us and guide us today. So let's just have a time of prayer. Just bow your head. Father, we just thank you this morning for your peace, for your love, for your glory. I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing, my Lord. And I pray for every one of my brothers and sisters this morning that they would receive this message with gladness, that you would speak to our hearts today, Lord, that you would help us and strengthen us today. And that, Lord, you would give us direction, that you would, Lord, my God, remove the scales from eyes today, Lord, and open hearts and minds. And, Lord, Father, let this word seek into our hearts today. In Jesus' name. You know, I was saying that, uh, you know, as a church, we're going through the book of James. And um, the Lord had put this message on my heart. The Lord spoke to me uh, over the last couple of weeks. The Lord had been speaking to me. And I believe this morning that God wants to speak to our hearts. And what he wants to speak about is that we must not forget who we are as Christians. We must not forget who we are. And who we belong to this morning. We belong to Jesus Christ. And you know that's something this morning that I believe that he wants us to grasp. That he wants us to take hold of. So as we read the word of God. Let the word of God speak to our hearts. So we're going to read James. The book of James. And we're going to pick up from uh, uh, chapter 1. And we're going to go from verse 12. So the word of God says. Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. Because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is temp tempted when by his own evil desire he is dragged away and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin and sin when it's full grown, gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits to all created. My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to become angry for man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that god desires therefore get rid of all moral filth and evil that is pre-elevant and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves do what it says anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like the man who looks his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like but the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this not forgetting what he has heard but doing it he will be blessed in all what he does if anyone considers himself religious yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue, he deceives himself and his religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Thank you, Jesus. You know, this morning I, I want to bring this word to you, that the, the book of James you know, at this time, in the book of James, we know that in the word of God, if we study through, that he's speaking to a people who had been scattered now. 
a people who's been scattered abroad and 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 you know at this time in in the book of James it, persecution was on the rise trials that came there was there was things that was happening you know this is a brand new church a brand new church and let me tell you something that there was there was no established churches at this time and what James was doing he was coming to to strengthen God's people he was strengthening those who were saved who were born again who had been scattered abroad and he was writing this letter to get to the to get to the hearts you know this is a practical book it's 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 it, it's practical christian living and every 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 part of james is encouraging it's instructing and i thank god for his word this morning that you know me and you this morning we may feel like we've been scattered this morning we may feel like we're sitting home in our trailers this morning but i want to tell you something this morning that god is with us the church is here this morning we are the church this morning. We are the church of the living God. You know, and you might feel scattered this morning. You know, like the dysphoria, the one who's been scattered this morning. And this letter, I thank God this morning, this word this morning is for me and you. It's for us this morning to, to get into our hearts and into our minds. You know, in James, he tells us, he said, he tells us to consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that we may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Not lacking anything. And God, by his Holy Spirit, the, the Lord this morning, he does, he does not want us to lack in any area this morning. Going on to, uh, as he goes on speaking about if we, if we need wisdom, that we should ask God for the wisdom. And wisdom is how to apply knowledge. You know, we heard it, what Jimmy said the other week. The, the, to, to apply what we know and what we know is and what we understand about God and about the Lord and that we must you know we must persevere persevering brings about a mature a, a mature man and woman of God we know at this time you know we, we are growing in the Lord we, we, we're going through trials we're going through testing we're going through through different situations but I want to tell you something this morning we will prevail we have to consider it pure joy when we go through these trials and when we go through these, these things. Because not only am I going through them, not only are you, but your brothers and sisters throughout the world are undergoing the same kind of thing right now. There's nobody that's not going through what we're going through at this moment. And I thank God for that this morning. I thank God this morning that, that we, we can face this together. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, he goes on to say, blessed is the man who perseveres under trial. Because when he stood the test, when he stood the test, let me.